Hey, DMV, what's going on? This is your boy, Joe Claire, and my comedy show is back. But now, we are banging in Bowie. The best date night in the DMV is back. And it starts on April the 23rd at the Bowie Center for the Performing Arts. 15200 Annapolis Road at 7 p.m. Morning. We've got free parking. We've got great food and drinks. And I welcome a hilarious lineup with my comedy friends, Alex Scott, Ashima Franklin, and the comic cop, Timmy Hall. Live music by Sound of the City featuring Precious Jubair. And tickets start at $30 and are on sale at BowieCenter.org. That's BowieCenter.org. Prince George's County, Joe Claire Comedy has a new home and it's in the heart of Bowie. Joe Claire banging in Bowie. Saturday, April the 23rd at 7 p.m. at the Bowie Center for the Performing Arts. 15200 Annapolis Road. Get your morning, tickets morning, ASAP morning. because they are going fast. Going fast. Good morning, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna believe the morning I've had so far. Oh, I got pulled over by the police. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, man, I'm supposed to be in jail right now. Luckily, the Lord is on my side. <clears throat> oh, the Lord is on my side. Good morning, Consuela. Mike Van Dyke, Damon Harrison, what's good, Fi? How you feeling this morning, my good brother? I don't ever shoot the left, I always shoot the right. What's good with you? Beth, good morning, get your black ass up. Larry Abrams, get your black ass up and Google it, bitch. Y'all don't understand, I almost went to jail a second ago. Oh, Lord, good morning. Tina, they almost took me to jail a minute ago. I'll be right back, y'all. Don't y'all move. Everybody stay right here. Don't nobody move. Y'all see I'm still over here in my workout club. Don't move. Don't move. Stay right there. Six in the morning time. Joe Clear live. Good morning, everybody. So, uh, my alarm, my alarm clock goes off every morning at five forty-five. Right? I did not have my alarm set this morning. That's where everything got started. Got messed up. I overslept, and then by doing that, my daughter overslept, my wife overslept, and my son, well, he don't gotta get up till later. So, I overslept this morning, my daughter overslept, by the time she got up, she was gonna miss her bus. So she missed her bus, I had to drive her to school. I drove her to school, uh, and only to get to the school for them to tell me, Oh, yeah, we can't let your child in yet. The children don't come in until 8.40. That's at 8.40. So my daughter gets to school and waits on the bus for 20 minutes every morning. I had no idea that this was the policy. Some kind of backless shit is this. Because the little girl, she got to get up and be out the door by uh 7.40 in the morning to go to hurry up and get to school so she can wait on the bus. For 20 minutes. I said, now that's that's inefficient. But neither here nor there. So I gotta wait in line for her. I said, well, fuck it, let's go get some breakfast. I took my baby to McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Then I gotta fly back home so I can get on at nine o'clock. Man, I'm flying down uh Annapolis Road. MLK, y'all. Y'all know an MLK. I'm flying down MLK. Man, I see this truck behind me, and sure enough, it was them P. He turned them lights on. I said, oh, shit. 
It was them people. He turned on them lights. And you know when it's the special police because special lights come on. So it was a... <laughs> It was a uh, it was a Ford uh, whatever truck they used or Chevy whatever truck they used and it had the lights on top. But when the lights came on in the grill and in the front dashboard of the windshield and then over here, I was like, oh, these ain't regular police. So I pull over. He hops out the car. I like, oh shit! Ah oh, man, I'm supposed to be on. Facebook and YouTube at 9 o'clock. I can't get arrested. Now, why would I get arrested? Here's why I would get arrested. Because my tag's dead as a motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all hear me? My, my tags was supposed to have been taken care of months and months and months ago. I, every morning I get up like, take care of your tags. And every day I go to bed like, God damn, you ain't take care of your tags. I mean, my tags dead, 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 dead. And I'm too busy. I can do it online. I can do the shit online. I just ain't even do it online. So, the man jumps out of the, the I mean, somebody said you should have filmed the police. Winter said I should have filmed the police. I ain't even had time to grab my phone, Winter. I grabbed my wallet because I was speed. I was flying. I'm flying. And I have a I have a <laughs> I have a Honda Accord 2.0 turbo. Right? And my Honda Accord 2.0 turbo go fast as a motherfucker. That don't go. When you put your foot on all you gotta do is look at the gas and that bitch take off. So I'm flying down the street. He pulled me over, I pull over. He walk up to the car. I pull out my, I pull out my license. <laughs> he walk up to the car. I give him my license. He look at me. I swear for God, he say, Joe Claire, if you don't slow your motherfucking ass down. I say, oh, ah, yes, I used the Cleasy. The Cleasy worked. Yes. The Cleasy worked. The Cleasy worked. So you know my heart was pumping like shit because I thought I was about, about, yeah, that's my heart that go 280. <laughs> I'm all, you know when the police pull you over and your, and your back starts sweating and your, uh-huh, the, the top of your, the top of your butt cheeks, your butt crack start sweating because you know you about to go to jail. Or you thinking you about to go to jail and your, your heart pumping and and your <laughs> the top of your butt crack starts sweating. Your stomach hurt. He was like, ah oh, shit. He said, Joe Claire, if you don't slow this motherfucking car down. He looked at me, he said, come on, Joe, man. Slow this motherfucker down. I said, oh, oh, officer, I apologize. My bad, man. I gotta be somewhere by nine o'clock. And I was rushing to get there. I really do. He said, it's okay, Joe, but slow this motherfucker down. I'm coming to the show on Saturday. Real talk. I was like, oh! Joe Cleasy, bitch! Joe Cleasy, bitch! <laughs> Google it, bitch! Yes! <laughs> I was size like, right now, I'm size like shit. Because I just knew I was on my way. I just knew I was on my way. I just knew I was on my way to the Who's Sky. You hear me? Uh huh. Anyway, so uh, that happened this morning, and I rushed in here, uh, gave my wife her McDonald's because I took my daughter McDonald's, bought my wife and my son some McDonald's, but he got to school, and I flew down here and turned on to see you guys. So good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do y'all see this right here from my good brother, Jimmy Thomas? Do y'all see it? My good brother, Jimmy Thomas, has received his coffee. Jimmy, you should have received your coffee and a refund. 
I hope you got your refund. Check your check your statements, cuz. Uh Shopify said they sent a refund. Uh Tina, did you get your coffee as well? Tina, did you get you got your coffee yesterday? Anyway, you should have gotten a refund as well, Jimmy. Check your statements. But I fulfilled every order. I have fulfilled every order, every back order as the CEO and president of the Percolator Coffee Company. I feel as though it is my duty. Oh, now my chair broke. Hold up. What the fuck is going on? I feel like it is my duty and my obligation to take care of every order. What the hell? Who know how to fix chairs? Oh, now my chair done broke. Man, shit. Oh, this is horrible. Why is my chair broke? I, I'm having, I'm just having one in the mornings. Anyway, um, I'm not taking any. So Tina, you got you got your coffee, but you didn't get a refund. But you don't need a refund since you got your coffee. Check, they said they sent refunds out. Shopify thought that I was an illegitimate company. <laughs> and sent everybody back their money. So, so check. So Chief Tomahawk, yeah. So he got his coffee and he was trying to figure out how to give me my money because he got the refund too. Anybody who received your refund, just take it as from, from the Percolator Coffee Company to you Take it as uh, we apologize for your order being screwed up and late. Uh, we truly, 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 truly thank you for supporting this venture. And, um, you know, enjoy the coffee. Now, some my man, uh, uh, my man, Jimmy was like, well, I need a mug too. We ran out of mugs, Jimmy. The mugs is sitting on one of them boats in the Chesapeake. That's where the mugs is at. <laughs> That's where the mugs is at. So we start taking orders again for coffee in about a week or two because we have finally worked out our, our, our shipping fiasco. And then we had to design a whole box for Keurig. Um, we had to, I had to design a box for the Keurig, um, shits. Let me see. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, that ain't it. Where the fuck did it go? Anyway, I have to find it for my wife. Um, anyway, sweet. Keurig on the way too. K cups on the way too. All of that. By, by, the, by the middle of May, we'll have those K cups ready to go. And we're going to start a subscription service that'll be automated so you sub can subscribe if you enjoy the coffee. You can sub sub subscribe um, and, you know, it'll show up everything. You know one thing I'm, I'm, I'm super happy about Amazon and their subscription service? Because I did not realize that I needed a lotion subscription. You hear me? Uh, I did not realize I needed... A lotion subscription. I subscribed to magazines in the past. I had subscriptions to, to, to YouTube subscriptions. I had cable television. But I never thought of a lotion subscription. And when I first saw it, when the first time I was on Amazon and I bought the lotion that I used, and uh, <laughs> I saw the lotion I used, I bought the lotion, and Amazon says, do you want to make this a subscription? I was like, oh, that's some racist shit. All oh, these racist motherfuckers that came at me saying, you know, since I'm a black man, I need a lotion subscription. And then I was out of lotion. And I was like, I kind of need, I kind of need a lotion subscription. So, <laughs> uh, 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 so Jimmy, your refund should be coming. Um, 
So, I thought that uh, I thought subscriptions was was bad until I got my lotion subscription. Then I realized, oh, that's something I might want to offer my customer. That's you. Excuse me. So we will be offering a subscription to the percolator. Yeah, Linda. I thought that I thought when they said, "Do you want a lotion subscription?" I said, "You racist motherfucker." What kind of shit is that? Because I'm a black man. I need a subscription to lotion. And guess what? Since I am a black man, <laughs> I really could use a subscription to lotion. <laughs> and so, um, uh, uh, so we will be having subscriptions uh, for the coffee, for Percolator. Today is... Is today the day that Prince passed away? Is today the day that Prince passed away? Is this it? Is today the day Prince passed away? Uh, um, April 21st, yes. Today is the day that Prince... Google it, bitch! Today is the day that Prince passed away. Uh, 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 so... So today is the day that Prince passed away, everybody. Um, I don't know if y'all know, I'm a huge, 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 huge Prince fan. I don't know if y'all y'all can't see it. My my uh <laughs> my Joan ain't over here. But Purple Rain is on the Purple Rain is on my turntable over there. I have three different versions of, of the Purple Rain album over here in this in the record collection. Rest in peace, Prince. Uh, they were listening. To, they were playing the the beautiful ones on my way home. What's y'all favorite per Prince song? What is y'all's favorite Prince song? Huh? What is your song that once you heard it, you was like, "Oh, this 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 my guy right here." What is the song that you heard about Prince that made him your guy? Nikki is your song. All right, so Nikki was the song that made me listen to Prince. When Purple Rain came out, I there was a girl that I liked named Nikki who um who treated me bad. And I listened to the song Nikki and I was washing dishes and uh and then I played I played the I started the album again and I listened to the whole Purple Rain, that side, and then I flipped it and listened to that side, and I was like, oh, this motherfucker vicious, and I sat there and listened to Purple Rain, the album, like, five times that night. I'll never forget it. I was supposed to go back outside with my friends, and I sat there and listened to Purple Rain about five times, the whole album, and that's when I became a fan. Uh, that's when I fell in love with I Would Die For you yeah baby if you want me to you let's go crazy i got the let's go crazy long version winter says uh i do not understand that question margaret you are now margaret you are a woman after my own heart this is one of the best prince songs ever Money don't matter tonight, and it sure didn't matter yesterday. Yes, Margaret, just when you think you got more than enough, swing it all up and flies away. Yes, that's when you find out that you're better off, making sure your soul's all right. Yes, Margaret. Cause money didn't matter yesterday 
And it sure don't matter tonight. Thank you, Margaret. Now, now that's a now that's a fan right there. That's a fan right there. That's that, that, that. I fucks with the people who fuck with the other Prince records. Pop Life is bomb. Alphabet Street, Raspberry Beret. I I love Raspberry Beret. I was working part time in a five and dime. My boss was Mr. McGee. He told me several times that he didn't like my guy. Cause I was a bit too leisurely. It seems that I was busy doing something close to nothing. But different than the day before. And that's when I saw her. Ooh, I saw her. She walked in through the outdoor, outdoor. She wore a raspberry. Boy, y'all give me sights this morning. Yeah, Prince right there behind the door, but he don't want to come in here. Okay. Now, Ronky, 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 you better tell everybody. You better tell everybody about this. It was 745. We're all in line to meet the teacher, Miss Kathleen. First came Kevin, then came Lisa. Third in line was me. All of us were ordinary compared to Cynthia Rose. She always stood the back of the line, a smile beneath her nose. Her favorite number was 20. And every single day, if you asked what she had for breakfast, this is what she say. Starfish and coffee, maple syrup. Oh, that's my song. Oh, that's my song right there. A butterscotch cloud, a tangerine, a sky order a hand. If you set your mind free, baby, maybe you understand. Starfish and coffee, maple syrup and jam. Oh, oh. oh my good. Do, do, do. Listen, I don't know if y'all know about this right here. Tony Pendergrass, you showing off this morning. I gave my love, I gave my life, I gave my body and my heart. We were inseparable, I guess I gave you all of my time. Y'all know, another hole in your head. You need another lover, like you need a hole in your head. Baby, baby. You know there ain't no other that can do the duty in your bed. Hey, boy, that was on the uh, uh, Cherry Moon album. Oh, my goodness. A Myron, yes, International Lover is quite the record. I got a lot. Of, I, I did a lot of nasty things to a lot of good women off of International Your, your Lover in my younger days. That was my song. Throw in Sam Cook. Oh, <laughs> are you talking about uh, the record store? <laughs> Soft and Wet is my song. Yes. <laughs> Today we are missing Prince. We are we are we're sh shouting out Prince. My favorite Prince song of all times. Where is the album? My favorite Prince song of all time. My favorite Prince song of all times is, um, I'm sorry, Another Lonely Christmas. Another Lonely Christmas is by far my favorite Prince song ever. Hey, Queen Yetta. Uh-huh, Crazy You. My, that's my song too, Jed. Yes, we are missing Prince this morning. Uh, too bad we can't sing along together. But uh, my favorite Prince song of all times is um, Another Lonely Christmas. Uh, that song right there just... And then to, to when we think about these songs, a lot of the things that we forget is that Prince played every instrument on the songs. Like for the first, you know, 9, 10, 15 albums, 
Prince played every instrument. He did all the arrangements himself. And then he sang the song. And then he would teach the song to the band and let them play it when they went live. That's a big man. Don't get me started. Don't get me started on Prince. When I lie inside my lonely room, dear, I, I cry for you, dear. And do you cry for me? Do you cry? Do you cry? When I'm in a sad and lonely mood. Man, I'm all oh, man. I miss Prince. I miss Prince. You hear me? I miss Prince. I was on, I was on. Prince, you know, Michael Jackson, everybody always had, well, why you like Prince better than Michael Jackson? Just because Prince to me just was just, just was, it was, it was just, it was, it was just, it was just better. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just sorry. That's my, and that's just, thank you, Tony. I, I, I can get through a song. I can carry a tune, Tony. I can't sing, but I know how to carry a tune. You know what I'm saying? Sexy motherfucker was my song, uh, but I, how do you say, I wonder you, I wonder you, I dream of you for all times, for all the time, yo, man, that's my man. And he, had, and, and he had heels and shit on. He had on heels. What you mean I'm bugging? Damon Harris over here. Don't start the whole. Don't Damon, fire. Don't tell me you over here talking about Michael Jackson better than Prince. Cut, cut it. I love, but don't get it wrong. Michael Jackson was incredible. But I can't. I, I never. Shit. Y'all want to know you if you really if are we gonna have are we going to have the Prince versus Michael conversation on the day that Prince passed away? Are we going to do that? Huh? Huh? Are we? Cause don't get me on, don't get me started today. I got pulled over by the police. I almost went to jail this morning. I don't know if you heard fire. I got I almost got arrested, uh, bringing my daughter <laughs> rushing <laughs> coming home. Coming home. Oh, so Damon Harris want to have the, the, the Prince versus Michael conversation. Huh? You want to have the Prince versus Michael conversation? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's why. We're going to leave. I'm going to leave the music out of it. I'm going to leave the music out of it. We're going to leave move the dancing and, and all the craziness and the clothes uh, uh, and all that out of it. You know why I Prince is my favorite, and Michael, I was like, okay, he's incredible, but he, I don't, I don't vibe with him the same way. Prince used to show up to the, to the, to the Grammys, to the American Music Awards, and whatever with 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 the finest ones. Apollonia, he had Vanity, he had Sheena Easton, he had, he used to mess with. Uh, uh, the lady from Cheers. Uh, he Prince used to mess with everybody, and I ain't never see Michael messing with nobody. Michael, when Michael Jackson showed up with Emmanuel Lewis on his hip, I said, "Oh man, get the fuck, Slim." Nah, nah. Mm -mm. He had Emmanuel, he had Emmanuel Lewis on his hip. Prince was sitting over there with Apollonia and Vanity. And this nigga got a monkey and Webster. Now, I'm riding with the nigga who got the women with him. I'm sorry. I'm, this nigga got on heels. He little. He wear blouses and shit. And he got the finest. Some of the finest women ever with him. And Michael Jackson over here <laughs> with a monkey. <laughs> And Webster. Uh-huh. Nah, man. Y'all did not on they, they don't be mad at all. Uh, y'all, y'all, they getting mad at me. They getting mad at me for, for bringing up 
but he started it on the day that Prince passed away. I know y'all ain't bring this up. She said, he said, Damon said, Michael Jackson had Elvis Presley dog. You ain't, did you know who she was before Michael Jackson started dating her? No. You knew who Apollonia was, though, when you seen that motherfucker. Oh, here we go. Michael Jackson ain't never getting to grow up. And all those. Michael Jackson's a bad motherfucker. I'm not taking a thing away from him. But in my house, here in my studio, y'all see the light is purple. Mm -mm. I'm fucking with Slim in the Hills. Who could play basketball and make you pancakes? <laughs> Game. Blouses. Do you all want pancakes for breakfast? I'm fucking with Prince. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Remember when he kid? Uh huh. Did you see that fake kiss they staged on the show? Right. That man. There you go, Myron. Myron say Michael is the truth. Prince was too. I never compare. I try my best not to never compare Myron, but people always bring it up. And they had the nerve to bring it up on Michael Jackson on print on the day that Prince passed away. I, I was like, nah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Plus the, and and I it's it's always I see how the the, <laughs> the Michael Jackson fans always conveniently skip over all of the allegations. Huh? 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 How come that don't ever come up in the conversation? Huh? Huh? How come that don't ever come up in the conversations? Huh? Ah! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that don't never come up in the Michael Jackson conversation. Every time we talk about Prince versus Michael, don't never, don't nobody, never, all the Michael Jackson fans, don't never bring up the allegations that haunted <laughs> Michael forever. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh-huh. All right, we're going to leave it alone. Happy birthday. I mean, rest in peace, Prince. Today's the day that Prince passed away, April 21st. Uh, matter of fact, I think on Saturday, I'm going to have to do a tribute to Prince at Bangin' and Bowie. Shout out to everybody who already got their tickets. <laughs> Look at what Shinova say. <laughs> uh-huh. Why you got to bring up old shit? Right. <laughs> uh huh. Money didn't matter yesterday, and it sure don't matter tonight. Man, I miss Prince. I'm li I'm banging Prince all day today, and I am going to start with another lonely Christmas. Last night. I spent another lonely Christmas. Darling, darling, you should have been there. Cause all the ones I dream about, you are the one that makes my love shout, you see. You are the only one I care for, yeah. Oh! When remember that night we swam naked in your father's pool. Boy, he was upset that night. But boy, was that ever cool. Remember that night we played Pekino for money and you robbed me blind. Remember how you used to scream so loud when you, you heated that number nine. Hey, I saw your sister skating on the lake this afternoon. 
Good heaven, how she's grown. She's still quite a skater. She's so tall. But oh, your father's children. Oh, your father's children, baby. You know, you are the finest of them all. You are brighter than the northern star. And I, last night, hey, I spent another lonely, lonely Christmas. Darling, darling, you, uh, you should have been there. Man, that's my song. Because all the ones I dream about, you are the one that makes my love shout. You see, you are the only one I care for. Yeah. Man, that's my song. Uh, 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 uh. Look, look, here go Danny with that bullshit. That's because cause you don't know the song, Danny. That's it. That shit. You see the ladies like, sing it, Joe. Sing it, because that's how the song go, Danny. Get your ass off of here. You probably like Michael Jackson. Uh-huh. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Uh-huh. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. I'm, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Thank you, ladies. Uh-huh. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Stacy. Stacy said I would have jumped in Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> for Prince. <laughs> Game blouses. Motherfuckers. Uh-huh. Game blouses. That was my song. Winter, you know that's my shit right there. Anyway, everybody, today is Relationship Thursday. You ain't never heard another lonely Christmas, Danny Blanco? Man, y'all got to go in the Prince's catalog. Y'all know I Feel For You by Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. That's a Prince record. Nothing Compares To You by Sinead O'Connor is a Prince song redone. Uh, Prince wrote um, uh, 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 You Can't Play The Song. You Can't Play The Song on here, Danny. Because uh, if I play the song, then they're gonna tag this broadcast, and they'll and I'll get put in Instagram jail. So you can't play. That's why I play my own music in the morning time. You can't play other people's songs. He wrote "Sugar Walls." Thank you, Winter, for uh, Sheena Easton. He wrote. He wrote countless records for other people. Uh huh. He wrote countless records for other people, man. Manic Monday for the Bangles. Uh, he wrote a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of records for other people. Uh, yeah. And we keep going round and round by Tevin Campbell. Uh-huh. Man, uh, man, I, I, I mean, for me, Prince was just, and then I went all the way back. When, once, here's how I fell in love with Prince. I listened to Purple Rain, and then I went back through the other albums to see what I missed. And so songs like uh, uh, Baby, Baby, what are we gonna do? I'm so in love with you. Baby, man, he wrote a song called Baby about when he got a girl pregnant. Um, <laughs> um, he the, the song Baby, uh, Controversy. Um, uh, I just can't believe all the things people say. Controversy, am I black or white? Am I straight or gay? Mm. Controversy. Do I believe God? Do I believe man? Come on, man. You can't take shit away from Prince. You ain't taking shit away from Prince. He right there. Here go all the songs. These are all the songs that he wrote for other people. These are all the songs that he wrote for other other people or people redid of his. And that's just a beginning. Uh-huh. That's these are just the beginning. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that Prince man, I I mean, 
Uh huh. If I was your girlfriend, if I was your girlfriend, would you remember to tell me all the things you forgot when I was your man? Hey, hey, when I was your man, if I was your best friend, would you let me take care of you? And do all the things that only a best friend can. Mm -hmm. Only best friends can. Ooh. Yes, uh, Queasy, we are, it is Relationship Thursday. But it's the day Prince passed away, Queasy. You see, I got the purple light up, Queasy. Because I miss Prince. You hear me? Prince is my favorite. Prince, Miles Davis, uh, 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 George Clinton. You understand? These are my favorites. And today is the day that Prince passed away. Prince is me is, is special to me. Danny Blanco asked that we sing that we sing "Erotic City." All of my. <clears throat> All of my, I can't even get that low, Danny. <laughs> All of my purple life, I've been looking for a dream. That was good. Queese, my fault, Queese. That was going to be my wife. That was my intention. If we cannot make babies, maybe we can make some time. Fuck so pretty, you and me, erotic city, come alive. We can fuck until the dawn, making love to cherish gone. Erotic city, can't you see? Fuck so pretty, you and me. Every time I comb my hair, thoughts of you get in my eyes. You're a sinner, I don't care. I just want your creamy thighs. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Prince made records about fucking. That's the other reason I like Prince. He made records about fucking. International lover. Insatiable. Um, uh, didn't he have a record called Let Me Fuck You? No, he didn't? Okay. <laughs> you understand? He had the song. Yes, he did. He got the song with Sheena Easton. Ladies and gentlemen, the dream we all dream of. Boy versus girl in the World Series of Love. She walked in. I woke up. I had never seen a pretty girl look so tough. Baby. You got that look. Ow. Color me peach and black. Color me taking it back. Crucial. I think I want you. You got to look. Man, y'all lucky I can't sing. Show sure enough do be cooking in my book. Your face is jamming. Your body it is slamming. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, Anastasia. Y'all want to know what my song was? Now this right here, now this right here, Stacy, stop playing with me. Woo, Stacy, stop playing with me. Have you ever been so lonely that you felt like you were the only one in this world? Have you ever been so that you would take any, anyone, boy or your girl? Anastasia, talk to me, garbage me, land to me, liberate my mind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm, mm, mm. Anastasia was my song. Y'all know he wrote, uh, who was that? The, the, the Backstreet Boys, or no, it wasn't the Backstreet Boys. It was, um, New Kids on the Block redid, uh, I can never take the place of your man, didn't they? It was new kids on the block, but I can never take the place 
of your man. Okay, Anastasia. Okay, Stacy. That's your real name, Anastasia. Got you. Got you, got you, got you, got you, Stacy. I got you. All right, all right. All right, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. Come on, 1999. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. I only want you to have some fun. Uh huh. I got a line in my pocket, mama say. And he's a ready to roll. Man, that was my song, uh, The Cross. Y'all know what my song was? Oh my God, The Cross. The Cross. My college roommate used to play The Cross early in the morning. And, and I fell in love with that song. I really, 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 really. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I really fell in love with the cross. Who's that put the lyrics up uh, about Do Me Baby? Yeah, look at the Do Me Baby lyrics that's sitting up here. Uh-huh. Yeah. I ain't even going to put them wrecks up. Uh, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get to this thing called life. Electric word life, it means forever. And that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. The afterworld. A world of never-ending happiness. You can always see the sun, day or night. So when you call up that shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one. Doctor, everything will be all right. Instead of asking how much of your time is left, ask him how much of your mind, baby. Because in this life, things are much harder than the afterworld. And in this life, you're on your own. And when the elevator tries to bring you down, go crazy. Punch a higher floor. Y'all see, I turn it into a go-go song right quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like the world you're living in, take a look around you. At least you got your friends. Come, old lady, for a friendly word. She just picked up the phone, dropped it on the floor. It's all I heard. I'm not trying to let the elevator break us down. Oh, no, that's Oh, let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. Look for the purple banana till they put us in the truck. Let's go. Uh huh. Come on, baby. Let's get nuts. Yeah. Yeah, man. This is a uh, rest in peace, Prince. Uh huh. Oh my God, Pop Life. My song, oh God. Oh man, I'm playing Prince all day today. What's the matter with your life? Is the poverty bringing you down? Is the word man taking you around? Spinning you around? Did he put your million dollar check someone else's box? Tell me. Uh, what's the matter with your world? Was it a boy when you wanted a girl? Oh man. Don't you know straight hair ain't got no curl? No girl. Man. So, rest in peace, Prince. Uh, has anybody, did anybody ever have, did y'all have the Black Album? How many Prince fans had the Black Album? Did y'all have the Black Album? Uh huh. For, for somebody who. <laughs> For somebody who don't like <laughs> TV dinners, you sure do eat enough of them, motherfuckers. <laughs> y'all, who had y'all ever listen to the Black Album by Prince? Shit was crazy. Uh, uh, seven, 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 ninety three, eleven. Uh, anyway, Computer Blue. Where is my love life? Where can it be, baby? 
It must be something wrong with the machine, baby. <laughs> where is my love light? Tell me, where has it gone? Somebody, please, please tell me what the hell is wrong, wrong. Come on. Till I find the righteous one. Computer blue. Yeah, y'all getting me sight. Y'all getting me sight. Cher Under the cherry moon was my song. Uh huh. Why? I'm oh, but y'all know what my song is. Uh, my song, and I was singing it just the other day. Uh, um. I used to cry for Tracy cause it was my only friend. But sometimes, sometimes life ain't always the way. Sing it with me if y'all know this song. Sometimes it snows in April. Sometimes I feel so bad, so bad. Sometimes I wish that life was never ending. And all good things they say never last. <clears throat> Man, I miss Prince. Man, I miss Prince. That was my guy. He was my favorite. He, uh, I, you know, he's one of the people that made me really revere music and and understand how music can transform. Prince didn't do any. Y'all notice he ain't had no side hustles. He didn't do no entrepreneur, nothing. He just made the fucking music, and the music was all that counted, and that's all the fuck he needed, man. And Man, rest in peace, Prince. Everybody get a little Prince in your life. Go ahead and cry, Stacey. You can cry. Sometimes it snows in April. And for anybody who does not know, that song for, was from the album Under the Cherry Moon and Prince dies in that movie and Jerome played Prince's best friend in the movie and Jerome was singing for his friend Tracy. Christa, Christopher Tracy was Prince's name in the movie. So I used to cry for Tracy cause he was my only friend. Boom! Yes, go ahead and cry, Stacey, you can cry. But sometimes, sometimes, life ain't always the way. Boom! Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes it snows in April. I ain't got no money. <laughs> I ain't like them other guys you hang around. And it's always funny. That they always seem to let you down. And I get discouraged. Because you treat me just like a child. They say I'm so shy. Yeah. But with you, I just go wild. <laughs> Don't want to pressure you, baby. But all I ever wanted to do, I want to be your lover. Man. All right. All right, y'all. It's 958. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your Tickets for Joe Clay and Friends. Banging and Bowie is going down Saturday night. We might even have to do a tribute to Prince. We might have to do a tribute to Prince with my live band. Uh, rest in peace, Prince. I miss you, miss you, miss you. Yes, yeah, Stacy and all everybody else on here who's who's shedding a tear today for our beloved Prince. Go listen to Prince all day. Go have a very purple, purple, purple day. 
Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Thanks, God. Thank you, God. You right, Danny. Thank you, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, God. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, today's your father's birthday, Stacy. My condolences. He was a big Prince fan, and we lost him in 2019. So, our condolences, Stacy. Our condolences. Oh, y'all gonna have a great day. I see y'all tomorrow morning, bright and early. Joe Clay Live, please go get your, your tickets right now. And if you ain't get your tickets, tell somebody else get their goddamn tickets. Yeah, thanks for the trip down Prince Lane. You right, Sher Sherry. Yes, indeed. Y'all ain't know I knew all them Prince songs, though, did y'all? <laughs> y'all ain't know I knew Prince like that, did y'all? Yeah, that's my man's right there. Y'all go have a great day, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Get your tickets. Peace and blessings. Let's turn this back up.